make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> Some of you look like you hadn't seen a black rapper do a break dance in church in a long time. Uh, we're so glad you came tonight, and what a great crowd. Thank you for coming. I want you to meet a couple of these children because they're just as precious in the bus as they are on stage. And they are precious, precious children. What is your name? My name is Michael. How many years are you, Michael? I am 11 years old. And what would you like to be when you grow up? I want to be a pastor. Thank you. Methodist Church in South Alabama a few weeks ago and a nice modern building and after the concert the children were going to the changing rooms and Michael saw this red box on the wall and he stopped and looked at it and it had one word written on it what was that word Poor. <laughs> and so what did you do Michael I pulled it <laughs> <laughs> you, I was in the parking lot and all of a sudden all the lights of the church started flashing on and off and two sirens, not one, two sirens are blasting away and, uh, and I had 22 Ugandan children running and screaming they thought it was the end of the world but Michael did not get in trouble because I had not told him not to pull it but are you ever going to pull another one? No. <laughs> Mighty right, you're not. Mighty right. What's your name? My name is Julius. Julius, you're wet. What's your problem? You've been playing in the rain? I've been dancing, I'm saying. <laughs> Need I remind you that David danced before the Lord? And your Bible says he danced mightily. Yes. I don't know what it looked like, but he wanted a Tennessee waltz. <laughs> And these kids dance mightily. Give them your yeah. best smile now. <laughs> you don't know how to appreciate that. When, when he first got here, Julius's front tooth was broken off. As a little boy, he broke his tooth right in half. And uh, his host family down in Griffin, Georgia, where we based the ministry, took him to their dentist and he got a new front tooth. And he, he's looking good, I'm telling you, he's looking good. <laughs> What is your name? My name is Arnold. Arnold, what would you like to be when you grow up? I want to be a pastor. I want to be a pastor. And God's going to use these kids to help change you, God. I believe that. Uh, Arnold's mother is the head teacher at the Royal School and Orphanage. And I've just got to brag a moment because uh, there's over 300,000 schools in Uganda. Every village has a school of some sort. And the government ranks them academically. Last year, the Royal School and Orphanage ranked number nine in the entire nation. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And what is your name? My name is Topista. Topista. Don't you love that name? I just love to say her name. Topista. Topista. Would you like to say my name? Yes, Dad. <laughs> okay. And what is your name? Assumpta. Assumpta. Topista and Assumpta. And we have Asadia. And they're just precious, precious children. Okay. Uganda is the size of the state of Georgia. It has just a few more square miles than Georgia. We have 9 million people in Georgia now, and we are overcrowded. Uganda, in the same land mass, has 34 and a half million people. There's people everywhere, and they can't grow enough food to feed their own population. Due to AIDS and malaria, we have one of the highest concentration of orphans on planet Earth. Somewhere around, they estimate about two million orphans in the nation of Uganda alone. And it's just not in the cities. Out in the bush where you think there's nobody here, you get out of the, bu uh, out of the bus, and walk into the bush and there's children everywhere. Half their population is age 15 and under. It's a nation of babies raising babies. But I've got good news for you. God knows every one of you. And he knows your name.
my heart Before even time began My life was in His hands He knows my name He knows my every thought He seals his teeth that falls He heals me when 